frictional force. Learning goals. Describe frictional force. Observe the effects of frictional force on objects. Infer how friction affects movements of objects and people. Devise ways on how to overcome the effects of friction in performing tasks and in daily activities. What would life be without friction? Life would be impossible without friction. We use friction in most of our activities. You would be able to walk without sleeping and falling with the help of friction. Friction affects different objects too. Without friction, you would not be able to write because your pencil would slip off the surface of the paper you are writing on. What is friction? Friction opposes motion. It causes an object that moves along a surface to slow down and eventually stop. The application of friction is illustrated if you let a coin roll on the floor. When you drop a coin and a feather at the same time, both objects will respond to gravity. However, the coin will reach the ground first because there is another force that affects the feather. When objects move through air, the force of friction opposes their motion. Friction is a force that opposes motion between two surfaces sticking or touching together. Friction works on the surface of the feather. Air friction affects the motion of falling objects by acting against the force of gravity. Friction is a force that resists or opposes the relative sliding movement of surfaces in contact with one another. Figure 6.28 Friction occurs between the tires and the road. Figure 6.29 Air friction affects the falling object. Figure 6.30 Friction occurs between the floor and the feet of the table. Kinds of friction A moving object is affected by friction. However, the amount of friction may vary depending on the type of surface the object gets in contact with. Rolling friction When an object rolls over a surface, rolling friction is produced. In your activity, you have observed that there is less force needed to overcome rolling friction. Figure 6.31 Roller skates and skateboards move with rolling friction. That is why you can easily move the block of wood with less force. One of the most common examples of rolling friction is the movement of motor vehicle tires on the road, a process that generates heat and sound as byproducts. In cycling, the weight of the rider and the bicycle presses the tires against the ground. This downward force creates increased friction between the tires and the road, giving tire traction. If it were not for the friction, the tires could not push the road surface to drive the rider forward. Sliding friction Sliding friction, also called dry friction, occurs when two objects rub against each other or slide against each other. Sliding friction is caused by molecular adhesion between surfaces. When you move a block of wood on sandpaper, the movement of the wood is affected. Friction occurs on the surface of the wood and the sandpaper or even the surface of the table or floor. The block of wood moves slowly with more force needed to move it. This type of friction is also called sliding. When you push an object, 
like a book on the floor or table. Sliding friction occurs. Sliding friction occurs between two surfaces that come in contact with each other. Sliding friction acts in a direction opposite the direction of motion. In the case of a book, the book moves forward while sliding friction is in the opposite direction. Sliding friction slows down the movement of the book or object that is moving. This sliding friction prevents the object to move forward as fast as it would. When sliding friction is acting on an object, other forces must be present to keep the object moving. It could be a push or a force of gravity when an object moves in a slope. Figure 6.32 shows that more force is needed to pull the block of wood when friction is greater. Fluid friction Fluid friction is friction between moving objects and a liquid or between an object moving in the air. Fluid friction occurs in a swimmer swimming in water, a boat traveling in water, or an airplane in the air. Objects moving through fluid, either liquid, gas, experience drag. This drag slows down the motion of the object. In a moving boat, drag acts between the surface of the boat and the water and between the sails and the wind. Figure 6.33 shows that fluid friction from both air and water opposes motion of the sail. Drag hinders the motion of the boat. The force of drag depends on the shape and size of the boat and viscosity of water. To decrease drag on a boat, the shape of the boat should be streamlined and the sail should not be opened. Moving airplanes also experience drag. The shape of the airplane and the engine helps it overcome the drag in order to travel forward. Static friction. Static friction occurs in stationary objects or objects at rest. Static friction is shown in a notebook or any object placed on a table or any surface which remains still. Friction keeps notebook from sliding off a table even when the table is slightly tilted. You can pick up an object without the object slipping through your fingers because of friction. Effects of friction we use friction in most of our activities. Friction brings desirable and undesirable effects to us. Desirable effects. Friction allows us to grip things. You would be able to pick up anything with friction. You can hold and squeeze a ball because of friction. Friction helps people convert one form of motion into another. Friction allows people to walk. You move forward because there is friction between the surface of your shoes and the ground. Without friction, you will sleep or fall and will not be able to stand up. A cyclist uses friction to move forward. The friction between his or her shoes and the pedals and between the chain and gears needed to move the bike. Friction converts some energy into heat. Friction is needed to produce fire. When you light a matchstick, friction is needed to change chemical energy in the matchbox and matchstick into light energy. Without matches, you can also produce fire by rubbing two stones or sticks together. 
undesirable effects. Friction makes objects difficult to move continuously. There is friction between the bottom or feet of furniture and the floor. When moving furniture, friction is undesirable. Friction converts some energy into heat, noise, and causes wear and tear on materials. When a cyclist pedals on a bicycle, the energy exerted by the cyclist is converted into noise and heat. Ways to overcome or reduce friction A machine's efficiency could be increased when friction between parts is reduced. Less friction occurring in the different parts means less energy is lost to heat, noise, and wearing down of materials. Applying lubricants to a surface Lubricants like oil, wax, and grease lessen friction. Applying lubricants increases machine efficiency. Reducing contact between moving surfaces. Rollers are found in many objects such as roller blades, trolleys, chairs, and skateboards. Rollers reduce friction by reducing contact between moving surfaces. Minimizing the contact between rough surfaces. When a person strikes a match against a rough surface, friction produces a large amount of heat on the head of the match and triggers the chemical process of burning. Similarly, when stones are rubbed Together, heat is produced. Using aerodynamic shapes. Aircraft and trains are designed to have aerodynamic shapes to reduce friction so that air flows smoothly. Smooth airflow means less drag, hence less energy needed to run. Key Concepts Friction is a force that opposes motion between two surfaces sticking or touching together. Friction can be sliding, rolling, fluid, and static. Friction brings desirable and undesirable effects to objects and people. Friction could be reduced by applying lubricants to surfaces reducing and minimizing contact between surfaces and using aerodynamic shapes. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button to notify you of new uploaded videos. Goodbye!